so I can read it and see the context. And it's the wow. See, that's that's why I believe. See, it's the wow. Now, sometimes there is no wow, where there's no aha, where there's no, oh, I see. Sometimes there's none of that. I hear something, it goes in one ear and out the other, nothing. Okay? But other times, there's an inner testimony. In other words, something on the inside bears, bears with somehow, something inside silently says, yes, or it's true. And the thing on the outside awakens me to the to the inner. And then I see, and then I see in the light, okay, the meaning of what I'm hearing. Sometimes a person who's saying it doesn't even know what he's talking about, okay? He doesn't, re he's just, you know, he's, he's, it's all study and theory and dogma and everything, but he doesn't really see it, but I see it. Or sometimes the, the person will say something and then twist the meaning of it, okay? But I, I see the meaning has been twisted, and I, and I see what the pure meaning is. So, did I have that a long time ago? No. Although when I was a little kid, I was, I was always interested in religion. Okay? Didn't do anything much about it, except I used to listen to The World Tomorrow with Garner Ted Armstrong, I remember. I loved to hear him talk. Um, he was a preacher who talked about the, uh, the, uh, the world to come, or end times, if you want to say it that way. And I loved hearing people talk about important, such an important, th such important things um, in a serious manner. I like that. Okay, so I like baseball a lot. I like radio. I like my baseball cards. I like reading. Okay. Stories. I like my cartoons. I used to have a whole stack of, uh, of cartoons. Mostly Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck and Elmer Fudd and Woody Woodpecker and some of those types. With a few Superman type mixed in and a few Classics Illustrated mixed in. But mainly just, you know, Bugs Bunny and the Roadrunner and those types. I loved those. I used to, when I, when I, would, when I was at school, elementary school, uh, there was a time when I would come home. Because I didn't live that far away, so I generally did come home. Now that I think about it, in other words, we had an hour for lunch, and so I walked home. It was it only took five minutes to walk home, and then there was a sandwich waiting for me in the refrigerator. My mom had prepared a sandwich, sandwich, and maybe an apple and something else. Okay, but then what I would do is I would go to a big box, to a cardboard box I had that had a stack of comments in, over a hundred of them. And I would look through and pick one out that I hadn't read for a while. Then I would go sit at, at the kitchen counter and I would read the comic book and eat my sandwich. I really enjoyed doing that. Okay? And then when I was a teenager, well, I was interested in... Um, um, yes, I was still interested in all kinds of sports. And I had a weightlifting set out in the garage and I worked out. And, you know, I did all the stuff that boys like to do. But I also like listening to, um, uh, sometimes, like I said, a program like that, talking about serious things, the end of, time, of the world. I like hearing that. Okay? And I had an interest in psychology. I always have. So going back to high school, I guess, maybe, maybe junior high, I had an interest in philosophy and in psychology. So you can see, they say the boy is father to the man, so you could see what was coming. Okay, you could see that eventually I'd have, I'd really get involved in such things. Okay, and all through college. Now in college, I was interested in psychology very much. Okay, but religion, not so much. Philosophy, yes. Yes, and religion to a certain extent, like cosmology or something. But um, did I go to church when I was in college? No. When I was a little kid, I did. But that's just what we did. That's what people did. That's what I did. Okay? I didn't mind it. It's just something that I was to do. College, I didn't go to church. When I was a young adult, I didn't go to church. And then for quite a while there, I wasn't really, I didn't think about religion at all. Okay? Didn't think about it at all. But I still liked psychology and philosophy. 
those types of things, okay? Well, then, through my 20s, I, I worked, I had an interesting job. I still liked sports, okay? Well, eventually, when I got to be around 30, 40, excuse me, 39, 40, then all of a sudden, um, there was a change in my life, a change for the better, okay? Change for the better. And then, after that, and I, I can't tell you when, was it, was it when I was 40 or when I was 40? It came pretty fast. So probably when I was 40, you know, all of a sudden I began to, you know, I would, I would, just, I would just pick up, maybe pick up the Bible and read a little something, usually, you know, the New Testament, because that's where the good stuff really is. The, the Old Testament is like pre preparing for the New Testament. The Old Testament, everything can be thought of in terms of, of God's love for people. And his saving people, his redeeming them, and setting the stage for Christ to come. It was, so it's always been about, you know, Christ. But I could pick up the Bible and look at the New Testament and read something. Oh, then I would see. So slowly but surely, I began to see. Okay, and um, so I just see that it's true. Okay, not because someone told me. Not because somebody said so, not because my teacher said so, or my preacher said so, or a preacher on the radio said so, or a professor said so, or some expert in a book said so. No, because I see for myself. Okay? So how was it that I would be interested in such things? And how would I come to see for myself? Well, it, has, it obviously has to be something other than me. See, I'm being gently guided in that direction. So I see. So it's like math. You know, if there's some kind of a math concept, if you don't get it, then you just don't get it. Okay? You might be able to go through the motions, and you might be able to, by rote memory, you know, by formula, work the problem out. But how much better it is when you, when you say, I get it. See? The Eureka moment, that's so much better. And then it's yours after that. See, that's so it's much better. So that's the way religion is religion is supposed to be realized. 